Okay, we're recording. Okay. So welcome to the first bi-weekly common metrics working group meeting. Yay. Um, do, you, do you both have the link to the agenda and the notes? I do, I actually am in it. Okay, cool. Can you post it in the chat real quick, please? Yeah, I'll post it in the chat. Awesome, thank you. Cool. Um, does someone want to volunteer to take notes? I can. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Um, so the agenda for this one is, is really sort of uh, super light with the idea being that we could cover kind of, kind of two things. We could have a quick discussion about the, the working group and see if there are any, any questions, anything we need clarity on. And then we can also talk about where to start and start coming up with some, some action items for, for things that we need to do. Hello there, Brian. And Toby. Hello, Toby. So you two are just in time. I feel like, Brian, I feel like I match your, your wall and your shirt with my little... Hey. And go scarf. You are part of the cool club now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Paul got it for me at the uh, the Van Gogh exhibit at uh, in Brussels. Oh, so per yeah, so personal question. I need I need a picture of his shirt he was wearing on Sunday at the thing because I couldn't quite get close enough to see it, but I oh. saw Curtis and I was like, "What's going on?" So <laughs> that was the Dalek one, right? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I just I'll... saw a few words, and <laughs> I again, it was a little awkward. I don't usually go running up and staring at people like, "Hey, what you wearing?" <laughs> he gets a lot of comments on his shirts. He's in this uh, geeky T-shirt of the month club, and he gets um, like one of them is uh, T Rex spelled out like T E A, and it's a T Rex holding a little teacup. Um, so some, some of them are very British. That one in particular, um, but. But yeah, some of them are really funny. He's got, uh, yeah, he has quite a quite a collection. But yeah, I'm going through the Marie Kondo process on my collection of T-shirts because they don't all bring me joy. I have a one in one out policy on T-shirts. I bring one uh, home, I have to get rid yeah. of one. All right, you can't talk to my wife. <laughs> I'm making. I don't need that kind of idea being put in her head. <laughs> I also have a pile to give to just, mom. I'm just now noticing the t-shirt background thing and i get where this whole conversation comes from <laughs> why are we all talking about t-shirts okay i get it <laughs> all right um okay so does everybody have the the link to the uh, minutes and the agenda i posted it in zoom but i'm going to guess that if you weren't in zoom when i posted it you probably didn't get it so there it is yeah, i've got the minutes online from the agenda okay. I got okay. it. Perfect. Um, Let me spell my name properly. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Spelling counts. Um, I and Sean, Sean has graciously me. agreed to do minutes for the meeting. But anybody can edit the document. I won't. I won't fight anyone who wants to change what I wrote. Like the spelling of your name. <laughs> yeah, I've actually had a lot of success uh, in recent meetups using um, meetings. Sorry, using Google Docs and just having everyone minute yeah and it's no longer anyone who's responsible for it and i found that is much better i've i've i've, I've done a decade of w3c who's going to take minutes mm -hmm. uh, questions and i'm really happy to be done with that yeah. yeah i like i like making one person accountable for it but all of us chipping in and and doing it um, yes. i agree yeah you should all like i said be able to edit the google doc so it should be wide open because I'm also a big fan of collaborating on the notes. Um, so we really, we really have kind of two things on the agenda. So I wanted to keep this first meeting really simple and kind of high level. So I thought we'd just have kind of a quick discussion about the, the new working group and see if there are any, any people have any questions or anything we need clarity on. Um, and then the second item is really kind of where to start and start assigning some action items. So if there are some metrics that people are interested in working on, we can, um, we can kick that off as well. Hi, Armstrong. We have the uh, 
agenda and the minutes are in the Zoom link. So if you don't have them, let me know. We'll send them to you. Um, okay, so discussion of the new working group. So as you all probably know, this this was kicked off because we realized that we had some we had some gaps. So there were key metrics, important metrics that didn't cleanly fit within the growth maturity and decline working group or the diversity and inclusion working group. So things like um, some metrics around organizational affiliation. Uh, those would probably be used by all the working groups, but nobody was actually dealing with it. So that was the one that sort of the canary in the coal mine there. Um, but then there are loads of them. So what we started doing is we started, and at the same time, we were kind of having conversations of do we deprecate the metrics repository? And people started going through it and realizing there were loads of really good metrics that um, either weren't being worked on at all or maybe were being um, worked on in the growth maturity and decline working group, but something different was in the metrics repository. So what we thought we'd do is have kick off a working group for, for as long as it's useful. We don't necessarily need to keep this group around forever, but to start defining some of the metrics that are in the uh, metrics repository, as well as um, any other metrics that are just uh, missing. So the organizational affiliation stuff is kind of missing right now. There are some that touch on it. There are some things like, you know, the count of the number of organizations participating, things like that, but not actually the affiliations, so that's uh, that's a bit of a, a bit of a gap. Um, the other thing that's happening in the metrics repository right now that hasn't uh, hasn't been merged yet is that Matt is working on defining or putting an extra field which has the working group that's responsible for the metrics. So a lot of these are being worked on in growth maturity and decline. A lot of the diversity and inclusion metrics that we've been working on in the diversity and inclusion working group repository are not included in the metrics repository. So Matt is uh, kind of doing a process of going through and um, indicating which, which metrics are being worked on and which, uh, which groups. And so that is in work in process. I think it's a, I think it's a pull request right now. It hasn't been, it hasn't been merged yet. There's a um, pull request that I did to try to tidy up some of the metrics mm -hmm. that isn't, isn't pulled yet, but hopefully will be soon as soon as I fix something. Okay, cool. Mm. Uh, yeah, that would be good. So are there any, any questions about the, about what we're trying to achieve here or the scope or really anything? The only question I have, which is not only for that working group, but in general, is sort of are there deliverables that we're trying to get out? Was this working group with the other ones? I, I'm sorry, I haven't been following very closely what was, sure. what's going on. So. Don or Georg, do you want to give Toby like kind of a rundown of the process? Or me yeah, I mean, I could, let's, let's talk about what the existing working groups have done because I suspect that what we're doing in DNI is probably different than what you're doing in um, GMD. But what we've done in DNI is that we've, we've identified, I think, something like seven focus areas. Mm -hmm. And we've identified individual metrics within those focus areas. And then we're defining those, defining those metrics. And so what that looks like is, you know, what, what question is this answering? What's a description of the metric? What are some of the strategies for, um, you know, for, the, for this metric? And what are some of the ways of measuring it? And so that's what we've been kind of doing on the diversity and inclusion side. So we've basically been doing a lot of just textual definitions of what sure. these mean, um, especially given that a lot of the diversity and inclusion ones, fr frankly, are pretty difficult to measure. You end up having to survey, you know, survey people and ask people about, you know, what their thoughts are on whether or not they feel included in particular areas. Um, but we have, you know, we have like sample questions for surveys. We have um, quantitative measurements where those apply. And that's what we've been kind of doing on the diversity and inclusion side as, as our deliverables. You want to talk, Sean, about the GMG working group? And the growth maturity and decline are, we have tried to, we started out doing something different. It's not worth going back in history. We're trying to mirror the process that the diversity and inclusion working okay. group does. So that now we have use cases that we take in and around those use cases, we hang metrics focus areas. And same as DNI, within the focus areas, we try to define metrics. And the met, our definitions go all the way to a working prototype in a Jupyter Hub notebook. Um, 
and that's you know our the metrics are in growth maturity and decline are a little more quantifiable from trace data than the DNI metrics. So mm -hmm. the implementation strategies are a little bit different, but process is similar. Okay, cool. Thanks. Oh, Brian, you're talking, but you're on mute. Okay, sorry. Um, so I have a follow-up question to um, Toby's question in that is the goal here to reclassify metrics that we feel like are like doubled up? Or are we or are we trying to make a new meta uh, category for things that uh, you know can cross over, as you say, a common metrics work group? I mean, um, I, I'm trying because I guess the ultimate question is. Are we just trying to do this so that all the metrics that we have in place have a, uh, a single point of responsibility, like where it's going to live and which working group is going to maintain it? Is that our ultimate goal here? Or are we trying to figure out ways to parse them out into separate work groups or, you know, how does that work? Yeah, I mean, I would... I would say that what you said is definitely, it's definitely a piece of it. Um, I would say that the goal is probably to um, put definitions behind some metrics that are important, but that no one has spent the time to put definitions behind. As a side effect of that, we also need to figure out who's working on which metrics and do a bit of classification for, um, you know, the metrics working group doesn't need to worry about this one because it's being done in, in GMD or DNI. And so I do think we need to get better clarity over which of the three working groups are working on which of the metrics. So I do think that that's a part of this exercise. Um, but that's a part that uh, I think Sean and Matt have been, have been working on already. So I think that we should have at least a start of that pretty soon. But I think that there are, there are loads of metrics in the metrics repository that nobody's really spent any time defining. Um, that are important, and then there's stuff that's just missing, like some of the organizational affiliation metrics. Okay. And do we have a target list, or is that what we're going to start doing now? I think we, I think what we need to talk about in this meeting is the approach that we want to take, because right now we have, we have a laundry list of, of metrics in the metrics repository. Do we want to take an approach where we start um, where we try to classify these into separate focus areas um, and go down the route that GMD and diversity and inclusion are, are doing, or do we, or do we treat these as more as standalone, standalone metrics that we, um, that someone needs to work on? And, and we can decide that, right? I mean, where that's part of, part of what this working group needs to, needs to decide. And Kevin, did you have a question? Uh, yeah, I was wondering. Uh, so, organizational diversity was mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, would this would this work group be uh, where we can have the uh, start to have that uh, value conversation as well? Uh, what do you mean the value conversation? So, uh, we have kind of four areas that have been identified: right, growth, maturity, and decline; diversity and inclusion; uh, value, and then the uh, uh, I'm sorry, what's the fourth one? Oh, risk. Risk, risk, right. So I think there's there's a lot of there's a lot of interest in in talking about value. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know that it's necessarily being talked about in any of the other work groups right now. However, it it probably relates to all four of the work groups. So the the common work group it might be a, a great place to start having those those value discussions. Uh, I think <clears throat> okay. I think, um, so we, we initially, we spun up the GMD working group, we spun up the diversity and inclusion working group, and then value and risk were sort of never, never really spun up. But I think that they were, weren't they both sort of combined into GMD at Growth least? Growth maturity and decline was, is attending to any of those that come up, but we're not staking an ownership or a leadership position. Um, in the case of risk, I'm doing a bit of a, I guess I, do, I call it a soft um, coordination role, trying to get the discussions about licensing and compliance into into um, 
the chaos organization. Mm -hmm. And I've implemented a couple of uh, risk metrics. The CII badging for license coverage, for example, is now in Augur. Um, <clears throat> so we're doing, we are doing some things in that space through GMD, but if somebody came along and said, we want to take on risk, there would be no, like, we wouldn't be fighting over it. Right. <laughs> is that helpful or? I'm just curious whether it's with the scope of this working group or not. The answer, the answer could be no. I think, I think the answer is we don't know yet. Um, if I had to, if I had to guess, cause I, I'm not entirely sure what was supposed to be in the scope of the kind of the value group. Um, exactly. So one of, and the value group doesn't exist. So yeah, exist. do what you want. <laughs> one of the things about the working groups is that they choose what they want to work on. And so rather than defining what we should be work on, maybe can think about what we want to work on. Mm -hmm. I, I think the, well, I think org affiliation from the conversations I've had with different individuals on this call, there's a, there's a shared interest there for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, do, does anybody have any strong opinions about whether we should try to tackle um, focus areas? Do we, because um, right now that list, if you look at the repository, it's, I think it's, is it alphabetical list or is it just a, Random list. I'm trying to remember how it's how it's ordered. It's not ordered particularly well. I um, tried to alphabetize it initially. Um, okay. There was some. Uh, there has been some work to make the the names of the metrics follow a focus area that has been identified by one of the working groups. So the ones mm -hmm. that are in the process and the the work the pull requests that I have are are all like if it's an issue, it's like issue dash x. If it's uh, code, it's code dash. X. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, metrics around the same phenomena in trace data are named consistently once that pull request is, is um, mm -hmm. pull, pulled. Okay. Which, um, oh, go ahead. Yeah, that might be happening today in the next meeting if I okay. finish my pull request edits. <laughs> I think the because we have so many and as the common work group, one of our goals is to pick up the left behind metrics. Um, instead of choosing an integrated approach, I think we can just pick the metrics we are most interested in and not worry about putting a framework on them right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just wondering what to do about, um, because I would see organizational affiliation as being sort of a, a collection of metrics. And so, um, so I think my question was more around whether or not we want to make that collection kind of explicit in some way, because there are, so, so there's a metric called contributing organizations already. There's another one um, called new contributing organizations and new contributor organizations. We've got a bit of a mess on our hands, I think. Um, it's, it's cleaner once the pull request is pulled. So, um. Okay, cool. Um, and then there's total contributing organizations and total new. Yeah, okay. Maybe those are all the same thing. Roughly the can same. We, can um, we just treat organizational affiliation as the focus area and kind of work through that framework in that fashion? That yeah, that's the question. Do we do we want to kind of put it under a focus area and have a number of metrics um, defined within that the way that we are with some of the others? And it might turn out that maybe maybe we have some other themes of things that people want to work on that are also would fit within a within a focus area. So so does it make sense to have focus areas for for a few things, but not everything? Um, do we want to be ad hoc about that or is that going to create chaos later? I'm curious what people's opinions are. Well, and forgive the newbie question because I haven't really been actively involved with the work groups. But so when you say focus areas are in my head, I'm picturing them as sort of like here's a work group. And then a focus area is sort of like a meta category into which individual metrics are put. Is that basically 
the organizational structure that you're outlining here? I can here. Let me let me open it up and share my screen, and maybe this will maybe this will help. Um, I mean, if that's the case, that makes perfect sense to me. But I have a feeling I may be missing a component of this of this discussion. Can you all see this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what we have within diversity and inclusion is we have um, we have focus areas which are basically. I mean, I think of them as a way to organize, um, organize the metrics and organize the, the work that we're doing and keep everything, um, you know, kind of in logical blocks. So if you're interested in improving, you know, like the diversity of your leadership, then here are some things to think about. Um, would you agree with that, Georg? Yes. Okay. Um, and then within any of these focus areas, you can see like, you know, event diversity, it talks about identifying the diversity and inclusion at events. And then within each one, we have very specific uh, metrics. So speaker demographics, attendee demographics, diversity access tickets, for example. And then any one of these drills down into, we've got a question, a description, some okay. sample objectives and strategies, and then success metrics. So we have, you know, actual questions to ask people, um, ways of measuring this, uh, resources. And so this is, this is what the focus groups look like for, um, for diversity and inclusion. Do you, um, oh, go ahead, Brian. No. So the, the answer to my question is yes. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I think I, yeah, I just yeah. wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing something. No, I don't think so. I and like I'm on the right path there. Yeah. What's interesting, though, is it, it, it seems that some of these um, focus areas of the different groups sort of like intersect in strange ways, sort of like a matrix. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, uh, diversity yeah. and inclusion governance is going to tie into a sort of like affiliation metrics, right, mm -hmm. <laughs> to some degree. Yeah. And we'll also tie into growth, maturity, and decline metrics. So right. governance is um, governance changes depending on where you are in the project's life cycle. Sure. And I and I think that might be something that we want to think about as a working group too, because some of the some of the things that have come up, and and Kevin's pointed this out too, is that it's not really that the metric, it's just the metric is useful in multiple areas depending on what you're looking for or why you're looking for it. What's, mm -hmm. what's the approach that you're using? Because corporate affiliation can certainly fall within, you know, both risk and, you know, can, uh, growth maturity and decline. Mm -hmm. And then the one that Kevin just pointed out, it definitely has. So can we, it would be interesting if we could kind of take that into account you know, de like depending on what the researcher is looking for, these metrics might show up in multiple buckets. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? I have another example of those. Um, in the DNI work group, we have a metric called contributor diversity or d types of contributions, contribution types, where the idea is that if we only get code contributions, then the project is not healthy because it needs documentation, it needs testing, it needs all these other things like marketing and so on. And with contribution type, I, I wrote out the, the specification for it and it was very detailed to some extent for how to collect the metrics. And one of the comments we got was, this also applies to GMD because as you go through the life cycles, um, you have different focus on different contribution types. And so contribution type is one of those metrics, like you said, Brian, that falls into different areas that you can look at from different angles. All right, so to sort of answer your question, on, it feels like we have one focus area that we agree on, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it also feels that we have sort of like a, a question around the meta focus group or like some, something of that sort that either could be tackled in that group or could be tackled somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Can you state for me again what the focus 
area that we agree on is? Sorry, what? The focus area that we agree on, is it organizational affiliation? Yeah, I think it's something like that. I don't, I don't okay. really know how to, how to phrase it. But. No, no, that's, that's mm -hmm. fine. I just wanted to make sure I was thinking of the same thing as uh, the thing we agree on. <laughs> well, I don't know if we agree on, but it seems that it's the only one. I think we recognize it's important. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would agree with that. Um, okay, I'm going to stop sharing. So... So it sounds like we have some interest in uh, obviously focusing on some of the organizational affiliation metrics because that, unsurprisingly, because that's kind of a big part of why this, why this group was was formed. Um, do we have, do we have someone who wants to, um, who wants to kind of kind of take the lead on that and start proposing um, some of the metrics that we need to, need to further define. So, I think in the case, I mean, and this is coming out of conversations I've had with most of you over time, when it comes to the organizational affiliation, I think it is a, a tooling and a data question and a, a data policy question. There's a data policy question about privacy and keeping names and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And there's a tool question about what could we do to make it easier to, to have data that... Um, helps us map organizational affiliation without a lot of labor intensive work. Mm -hmm. And there are also, you know, organizational affiliation also has some complexities around, um, you know, needing to keep track of the dates. Was I, was I at Intel during this event or was I at, at Puppet or at Pivotal or, or wherever because organizational affiliation changes um, sometimes right. rather and rapidly. I, so I've seen uh, Baturja um, a stool tackle uh, all of these. Mm -hmm. uh, what I haven't seen and haven't heard conversations about um, is how do we account for um, whether a developer is actually working on behalf of his company or their company, sorry, or on behalf of themselves when they're actually working on something. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't even know how we can start tackling this problem, but it is a problem. It is a problem. And, and some of these, to be honest, um, it's one of the things we, we run across in the diversity and inclusion working group quite a bit is that um, some of these are, some of the things are really, really difficult to measure. And so there are some things that we, we talk about, you know, needing to keep, needing to keep an eye on and needing to be aware of that we don't necessarily have all the answers for right now. And I think that certainly falls into, um, into it. The other bit that we talk about a lot in diversity and inclusion is um, kind of ethics and accountability, which gets sort of at some of the, the privacy stuff. But, you know, if you're collecting data about people's um, gender, sexual orientation, all kinds of stuff that is rather, rather sensitive, there are a lot of ethics around how you collect that and how you use it, and also a lot of accountability in how you keep that data safe for people. Yeah, and there's actually like a bunch of laws in Europe around this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, so these are these are things we need to we need to define. And so I think that you know maybe a a good first step would be to start to like we did with the focus areas under um, diversity and inclusion to start breaking out what are the metrics that we need to we need to define and what are some of the things that we need to think about even if we can't necessarily <coughs> define them to find them right now. And we have some templates we can reuse from, uh, from the diversity and inclusion working group. Although some of these, based on the, some of the measurements, I wonder if the GMD templates might be better. I, they're, they might be closer aligned if we're gonna be working on trace data. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but the high level structure is not overwhelmingly different, but we can, like, I, are we, are we, we're going to work in the, so I guess the, you know, the to do's are, um, we need to create like a template in the repository, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I can take ownership of, of doing that from the, okay. from the GMD. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> Um, the other question is, so what we usually do in the diversity and inclusion groups with the templates as we, um, 
we usually start them in a Word doc. So we create an issue that we need to define this metric. We link to the Word, uh, sorry, not a Word doc, a Google doc, a Google doc where everybody can, can participate and add things. And then we move it to the repository where then people can continue to, um, continue to add things. The Google um, doc is linked from an issue, right? The Google doc is linked from the issue, yeah. The Google doc is, on the one hand, it's better for people who are not intimately familiar with the way that Git works. And so maybe aren't that great or aren't, aren't likely to submit a pull request to add some text or add some information to something, whereas they would in a Google doc, which is, um, which happens quite a bit in the uh, diversity and inclusion working group. We have some people who aren't particularly active on Git, but that have um, added a tremendous amount of value by having them in, in Google Docs. I could go either way. I mean, I don't, I don't mind working directly in, in Git and Markdown files. I also don't mind working in, in Google Docs. Is there anybody, do we have any strong preferences? I tend to, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you no, short. No, go ahead. Please, no, no, no. Um, I'm not, my, sometimes my facial expressions are just random and <laughs> I can relate don't, to don't interpret them as, uh, <laughs> don't interpret them in any particular way. No, I thought you were actually talking and muted <laughs> to, no. to make it even more awkward. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, no, no, I completely lost what I was going to say. No, um, yes, I was going to say, I, I do agree that uh, for initial, initial kind of work, um, Google issue, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, a Google doc or like that kind of a document is actually better than working off of pull requests, mainly because there's like so much reorganization of the content and you can comment really easily. It's a lot harder to do on an actual, um, on an actual uh, issue pull request. So I think that's a good idea. I have been playing a bit with a thing I think called um, hackmd.io. Mm -hmm. which is sort of like Google Docs in terms of being uh, having many people being able to collect and work on something, mm -hmm. but is actually marked down at its base. Um, so it, that's nice because it's easier to translate, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not yet convinced that it's a better option than Google Docs. <laughs> so I think it's actually a really, it, it works well for the kind of uh, initial work that we want to do. Uh, so I, I, would, I would go with that. I have okay. an unrelated question. I don't know if now is a good time to ask it. No, I. Of course for me. Um, I have. It sort of ties back to the first question I asked. Is have we thought of uh, actually publishing the output into something that's uh, that looks a bit more finished and it's easier to find and link to than uh, a bunch of markdown files on a GitHub repository? Apologies, an alarm I set for myself. <laughs> that was from my trip. Night trip. <laughs> Completely irrelevant. So the conversation about publishing surfaces every now and then, and we don't have a finished solution ready. Uh, I think one of the solutions that has a lot of support is to take a snapshot of what we have in the repositories and put it on our website. I would think that that would be at bare minimum a good solution. Yeah, but uh, I think the bit that we tend to get hung up on is um, how do we how do we define our release of metrics? <clears throat> Why don't we just mirror the whole thing and have it update updated as as we change things? I mean, GitHub makes that kind of stuff really easy. Well, the idea also um, is that. People could say, you know, this is, I've, I've implemented something using version 1.0 of the chaos metrics, which might be different than version 2.0. And so do we live update it? These are the conversations we're having. None of the decisions have been made as far as I okay. know. So the question is, do we always keep updating stuff or do we give people version numbers that they can tie back to things? Well, Git is um, amazing in the sense that every update actually has a to it. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. No, these, these, are, these are the exact conversations we've been having. Yeah. We've had those in the web standard space for, yeah. I think, 15 years at this point. Yeah. Um, I, I, do, uh, I, I do strongly, uh, I mean, I came strongly to the conclusion that anything but live 
of documents and life standards was ridiculous and stupid in this day and age. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, some people still disagree, generally for legal reasons. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know if we have any of sort of like these concerns with these groups. Anyway, I mean, I just think it would be really nice because from like from an outsider's perspective, I have l literally no idea if anything has happened in these working groups so far. Right. And I sort of like, I've, I mean, I follow this space pretty closely. Right. So, uh, you know, it's just, I, I find it sort of like, I mean, I personally don't want to invest a lot of time into something where the rest of the world feels like nothing is happening. So that was the point I was wanted to make really. I, I'd, and I'd love to like, if there's consensus as to what to do with this, I'd be happy to invest like resources to help make it happen. That's the other aspect. Yeah, what we might want to do is um, tee up that discussion again to have in the, um, the weekly call where everybody gets together. So the call that's right after this one. Um, okay. Not necessarily this week, or I don't know what the agenda sure, sure. looks like for this it week. Can, but it can be this week. Um, could be, it could be this week. I haven't seen an agenda, which makes me think there probably isn't one. This is supposed to be our main agenda meeting because it's the first of the month, but... Mm -hmm. um, are you leading this, Sean, or is Jesus? I forgot. Uh, Jesus and I are tag teaming. Um, okay. We haven't, but, but that's because Matt can't be in the meeting. I, I think um, we did not, nobody circulated an agenda in advance, um, which is okay. Is, and I think, so I, mean, I think this work group is one of the agenda items by default right now. So if we want to <coughs> frame a question and I guess what is the question? I mean, can someone summarize what the question is that we would frame so that because Toby wants to work on something and I agree with him, I do too, that will have traction. Mm -hmm. And is, is the question about what is the concern about traction specifically related to organizational affiliation or is it more broad than that? Well, mine's broader. I mean, like, well, I don't, I mean, ideally, I think like the, every group should have a, a, a simple way to publish this in a simple place where uh, external people can see what's going on and link to specific metrics, right? That, that's like outside of that, um, uh, I, I just like, I don't, I don't see that work as being super impactful because it's not seen elsewhere, right? I can't reference this uh, when I talk to clients, for example, like I can't tell a client, hey, look, we're using this metric that's on a GitHub repo somewhere. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to them, right? So, so, so that's, that's really something. Um, so whether, I mean, I feel like a solution ideally would work for all the groups. If uh, all the groups don't agree with that, uh, that's a shame. But in that case, it would be really nice if it could work in this group. I think, I mean, from my perspective, when I look at things like SPDX, I'll use that as an example. They have a published version of the standard and I think I think we and it's put on a website it's not in a github repository and so there's an ample precedent for having published versions of standards and, and this is I think something softer than a standard but let's call it that because I don't have another word if we could publish a version of this standard when we have a set of metrics that satisfy the basic criteria of definition mm -hmm. right and I think it's right and good that we should do that like I don't I don't see a point if we're not going to do that eventually, because I agree, I can't, if I'm looking at a GitHub repository, that's not super helpful. Mm -hmm. well, I, think it's also we have, I think we have broad agreement within the project that um, we do need to publish and, you know, quote unquote, release the metrics so that we can promote them and people can use them and people can feel comfortable with them, which I think you make an excellent point. Like you can't just point clients to a random GitHub repo and say, hey, I'm using this thing and that's not going to, it's not really going to get you anywhere. So I think there is broad agreement that we should be that we should be doing something to to pull these together and promote them. It's, it's kind of part of a package of, you know, here are all of the metrics in the chaos project and here's the, here's the output. We just haven't, um, because the metrics are in various definitions of defined, we haven't quite figured out exactly how we want to do that. And, and we're looking for, I mean, I would say we're looking for input on that because they're, it just hasn't been, hasn't been decided how we want to do that because we still have, we still have a little bit of time because we're still, we still have so many of the metrics that need to be defined. Does that make sense, Toby? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. so uh, I, I'm happy to join uh, 
a broader conversation on that topic, just tell me sort of when and where, and, and I'll be happy to join it and happy to provide input. Um, and if there's agreement, I'm happy to actually do some of the work or uh, 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 help pay for someone to do some of the work. Because like it, it, make, it's, it makes a really a big difference uh, to me. So I, um, I took some notes just listening and, and creating in my own head that, that one process that we might have the group, the larger chaos explore is we set a release date. Uh, we all have worked in software. For me, mm -hmm. I think motivates like having a release date. And we say on X date, we're going to release a set of standard metrics, chaos definitions to agree on what we, what are those standard definitions? Um, like what needs to be in it for it to be released. And I think we almost have that, but we haven't talked about it in the context of release yet. So we just need to tighten that connection and then having the work, have working groups say, okay, we're going to have these specific metrics ready to release, um, for this first release. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, and then I guess the, the feedback loop would be, be, you know, ensure this is some adequate minimum. Can I kind of back up a little bit and talk about sure. the scope of this group? Um, sure. So we mentioned corporate affiliation as one area on which we want to tackle first. Mm -hmm. But I guess my question would be, um, are there more? And should we define them now? Because I, I'm kind of wondering if we shouldn't sort of define our lane so we don't inadvertently like pick like, I don't want to pick a metric that, you know, you know, diversity inclusion comes along later and says, oh, yeah, we were going to work on that. We just hadn't gotten to it yet. Or is that even a valid concern on my part? I think as long as we discuss them in the meeting, I, I don't think that's going to be a concern, mainly because um, Garrig and I are involved in diversity and inclusion, Sean and others are involved in GMD, and so okay. we should be able to head any of that off. Um, and like Sean mentioned, there's a pull request coming that should make this a lot more clear in the, um, in the metrics repository, which is part of why I think we should kind of start with organizational affiliation because it's not anywhere, it's not anywhere in there right now and it's important and needs, needs some work. And then I think once we get better clarity on which of the metrics fit into which of the repositories um, and we've cleaned up some of, the, some of the duplicates, then I think we'll be in a better, in better shape to go down through the list and look at which ones aren't being addressed by anybody that might be really important and then start picking stuff off and maybe coming up with some some other themes or focus areas around around some of these. Does that seem like a reasonable approach, at least for for this week and next week or two weeks? Yeah. Yes. Um, does somebody want to want to take the lead to put together to file an issue, put together the Google Doc? Um, I said or, that I would create the template. So when right. I'm creating the template, I could just create the Google Doc for this for the for the organizational affiliation <laughs> stuff as well. Well, it's likely going to be multiple Google Docs because somebody needs okay. to sit down and think about um, which of the which of the areas you know defining the metrics. Like which what what do we want to focus on within organizational okay. diversity? What do we need to define, and how do we need to define that? Why don't we start maybe a doc just to have to, to collectively make those decisions in there before someone has to go by themselves do that? Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, no, I wasn't I wasn't picturing that as kind of a solo activity to somebody okay. to uh <laughs> somebody to take the lead to put something together where we could at least, you know, like, you know, start to come up with a straw man list. I I just, in okay. my experience, it's, it's really easy once you put together a list of like three or four things for other people to go, oh, well, clearly you're missing this. Sure. Or um, I would is just find it easier if a, one person sort of kicks it off. Is that, this a list of the metrics, Don? Uh, just around organizational affiliation. Okay, so you, you said, so Sean, you said you're, you're creating the template. Does somebody want to help facilitate the discussion about which metrics we, we should focus on under organizational diversity? Yeah, I'm, or, I'm happy to do that. I just, okay. You want me to do a, a, a Google Doc out, off of like anything or do you- Yeah, file, file an issue. Um, okay. 
just to define that, you know, where basically to give a place to link to the Google Doc um, file and issue in the metrics repository that you're um, that links to the Google Doc where we can discuss the different um, measures that we need to come up with. And then we can create individual Google Docs to define each one of those once we have the list. And you don't have like a chaos.org, uh, GitHub, or uh, uh, sorry, Google organization or anything of that sort. I just use like my own stuff. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. And do we have a list somewhere of the emails of everyone? Should I just, are those on the, on the calendar invite? I, I imagine so. Uh, some of them are. Usually what we do is we actually just make it open for people to, to edit. Okay. For everyone? For everyone. All right. Yeah. So okay. far it hasn't, so far it hasn't no, been the, an issue. Yeah, if usually if you don't forget it somewhere. <laughs> I've had some really bad experience with uh, hack pads in the past. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, uh, terrible uh, uh, racist slurs and stuff like that on stuff that was public and had large company names on it. So uh, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm sort of like careful, but uh yeah, because we tend to use these just for a sort of internal collaboration, and then we move them to GitHub when okay, we get a little works. more clarity. It's it's worked so far. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> if at some point it does that, we can lock stuff down. Sure. Yeah. I'll okay, so Toby's got the action item to okay. do that. Anything else we want to to talk about? Um, I would say that for for the agenda for for the next meeting. Um, we can talk about the progress on organizational diversity as one topic, um, or organizational affiliation. And then we can also look at the list of metrics and see what else we want to focus on. Because I think that should be easier to do in two weeks once we have the, the other stuff merged. I think the list will be a bit cleaner. Anything um, else anybody wants to see on? I uh, have a, sorry. So the next, the, the, so this is a biweekly meeting. So the next meeting is not on the, is not on the 12th. It is on the 19th. Just to, to clarify that, I'll change that. I actually have a housekeeping request along those lines. I, I said earlier in an email that this meeting falls exactly on the cadence of my weekly team meeting yeah. at this date and time. The only reason I'm here is because we're all dead from FOSDEM, so they canceled my meeting. And is there any way we could sh off ship this by like a week? If not, I won't be able to participate in this work group on a regular basis. My and I'm not stuck with it. this time this day doesn't matter to me i'd like to have both you and don involved yeah my my challenge is that i have a similar conflict on the opposite yeah. weeks which is why i picked this one <laughs> right. um, i can i can see if because mine is not a team meeting but it's uh one is like a sync meeting with a vice president we have time on her calendar every two weeks and um it's like the whole team syncs with her and so that one is pretty hard to move um but I, I can ask and see if well, we can. or another day because actually Tuesdays are the only really like <clears throat> locked meeting days that I have. Yeah. Well, when I set out the sent out the doodle, this was the one that worked for the yeah. most people, because the other challenge we have is that it really there's like a two hour window that we can do this meeting in right. because <coughs> of West Coast and Europe. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, don't sweat it. I mean, your participation is obviously key. So, I mean, if, if it doesn't do work we, out, if it doesn't work out, I'll just come in when I can. Do we want to try just another Doodle poll with the people who are on this call and see if there's a better time? John? Uh, yeah, we can. I don't know that we'll get a different answer than we got last time. The other person we want to add is Matt because he couldn't make it for this one. But, yeah. but I think this is really kind of the people that were on the Doodle poll. Okay. So yeah. I don't I don't know that it's going to be um, going to be. Well, if you still have the poll and there's places where I didn't line up, but you and Brian did, then let me know and I can maybe I don't know. Yeah. I don't I'll always know. put like deep thought into how I answer a doodle poll. <coughs> oh, I see. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm well, giving yeah, I'm doing my best guess, right? But 
like I'm always, I mean, it's like when it comes to key people, I mean, maybe except for teaching most of the things in my life, I can be flexible about. No, Sean, you were, you were available at all the, all the days. Okay. So you were, you weren't the, the blocker. Okay. You weren't the right. blocker. And, and I think the problem was I'm, I was available at this time on some Tuesdays, just not, you know, oh. and doodle didn't, doodle didn't make that, uh, you know, readily apparent, but again, you know, it's cool. Um, I just wanted to ask, and I, I can just try to get here whenever I can. And Toby, it looks like Tuesdays was the only day that you could do it, probably because you're in the same situation I am, where you have loads of meetings at this time because well, of the actually, so, No, the problem is I have kids, so <laughs> like, uh, 4 to 6 p.m., 4 to 7 p.m. is usually like pretty complicated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, I, I can do, I, I have all of my meetings with the West coast, uh, in the evening. So this is the start of my day, really meeting. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, what, uh, do, do, can, can you link to that doodle again? I mean, I'm happy to, I could yeah. do an hour earlier if that's at all helpful. Uh, that works for me. That makes or, it hard for anybody on the West coast. I think. So for those of you just joining, we're wrapping up the last meeting, which is the Common Metrics Working Group, before we kick off the, uh, the other one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, does somebody have, all right. I can find the link. Um, yeah, because the problem is I'm on two computers and I have multiple. I found the link on the one. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where that would be. Oh, I'll, oh, sorry. I'll drop it in the notes. Okay. I was, just trying, I was trying to drop it into Zoom. Um, is there I a... just dropped it into Zoom. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, so let's give me an action item. Where are the action items? There's a... Do we have a... Oh, yeah. That was my only... <laughs> oh, boy. Oh yeah, but yeah, they're all terrible times for me. That's the problem. Like I'm basically usually driving kids around at that time. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll have a, I'll I'll double check and and I'll edit mine if I can do that. I can't. Yes, I can. I'll edit mine. Um, because like it looks like I'm really the one was the most painful. Well. Brian and I are the, the painful ones here, the annoying, the annoying ones. Well, that's the story of my life. But <laughs> like I said, you know, I regret it, but it, I don't want to throw off the whole group. Yeah. So I'm not sitting here stomping my foot. Okay. Um, so I took an action item, and I gave the action item also to everyone to revisit the doodle poll and make sure it's still accurate. If there's any possible time you could um, – give back. That would be cool. Um, at this point, Garrick, how about we stop the recording since the next meeting is due to start.